everyone gets stressed about exams, but stress can affect you in ways that you don't realise. You might even be worried that you're not feeling stressed enough, not realising that some of the things that are happening to you, happening to your body at the moment, are due to stress. Or there may be things happening to you that you think are due to something completely else. You might be worried that you're seriously ill because of the symptoms you're having at the moment, not realising these are all due to exam stress. In this series of videos, I am going to go through everything you need to know about stress to help you cope with it in the one up to your exams. Stress happens when you are feeling under large amounts of pressure. And this generally comes from one of three places. It's going to come from home, it's going to come from school, and then thirdly, it's going to come from social media. Now, a little bit of stress is good. A little bit of stress can motivate you to get started. A little bit of stress will motivate you to actually do things. But too much stress over a long period of time can really have a long-term negative impact on your health. When you're stressed, your body produces a large amount of adrenaline. Now, adrenaline is the hormone responsible for the fight or flight response. So a normal situation when you're feeling really, really stressed might have abnormal consequences or strange things, strange reactions might start happening. Because when you're stressed, your body will see a normal situation and it won't react normally to it. It will automatically go into this fight or flight response. You may find that you'd lose your temper more than you normally do. Maybe with younger siblings running around all the time, their constant chatter, their constant questions, the constant annoying little things they do. Maybe you just put up with it normally, maybe you just ignore it normally. But the adrenaline, the stress response might cause you to snap, lose your temper and start shouting at them and then feel guilty about it because potentially they've started crying. You know that's not how you would normally react in a situation. All of this is due to stress. You may find yourself getting more aggressive. This could be verbally aggressive, this could be physically aggressive. You may find yourself getting into arguments with people that are really, really close to you. Situations that wouldn't normally lead to an argument when you're stressed can quickly spiral out of control. And you may find yourself shouting at some of the people you love the most all because your body is having a stress response. Both losing your temper and an increase in aggression, being aggressive towards other people, can cause hurt feelings, it can cause distance, and it can cause feelings of guilt with you. At a time when you need the people around you to be supportive more than you ever, ever have. If you're being aggressive with them, if you're losing your temper with them, if you are pushing them away, they are going to be hurt and upset, you are going to be feeling guilty, and you're not necessarily going to have the support structure in place you might have if the stress response wasn't you making you feel um, losing your temper, wasn't you making you so aggressive. And this is at a time when you need people around you the most. Stress hormones change the way that blood flows around your body. So maybe those headaches you've been having and you've gone to Dr. Google and diagnosed something horrific, which isn't gonna make you live for very much longer, it might just be due to stress. That sick feeling, the feeling where you can't eat anything, or maybe you just can't stop eating, or maybe your toilet habits have changed, maybe you need to go all of the time now, or maybe you really, really can't go to the toilet at all. Again, this is all due to the way that blood flowing around your body has changed due to the stress response. The pounding heart, the dizziness, the faintness, again, this can all be attributed to stress. Now some of you may be assess obsessing over some of these symptoms, some of you may be attributing to something else, being really, really worried about them. But all of these things can be caused by stress hormones running around your body, doing things to your circulatory system, to your brain, to your heart, to your digestive system that you wouldn't necessarily put down to stress. Two of the biggest symptoms are anxiety and lack of sleep. Now these two are really, really closely linked. You might not be able to sleep because your anxiety is keeping you awake at night. You may be anxiously predicting what's going to happen in the future, catastrophizing things, thinking about worst case scenarios. This is is all your anxiety. This is stress doing this to you. You are not actually predicting the future. Stress can make you cry a lot, all the time, in front of your friends, in front of your family, in school, in situations where you really don't want to be crying, but it is completely irrational and you can't help it. You are not 
upset or sad by things, you're stressed about things. There have been so many situations where I found myself sitting there crying and asking people asking what's going on. I've got like too much work to do. Stress can make you cry a lot. That's generally my response to being really stressed. Stress can really affect your self-esteem. It can cause you to think that perhaps you're not worthy or perhaps you're not very good at this. It can cause you to withdraw from other people. Maybe you think you're not worthy of this relationship or maybe you think that your friends, why would they bother hanging out with you? This is such a vitally important time to have your support networks around you. Low self-esteem and withdrawing from other people can really, really impact your mental health. While all of these physical, emotional symptoms I've gone through in this video can be attributed to stress. It is really really important to realise that stress for the most part is a short term thing. That when your exams are over, when this period of your life is over, the stress hormone will leave your body and things will go back to normal. Being this stressed, your body reacting to stress in this way is not how it's going to be forever. In this series of videos, I'm going to take you through lots of different things you can use to actively deal with stress, to actively improve your mental health, and then we, together, will get through this. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too